All right, here we are at Katawa Shoujo again. Um, Joe's, Joe's here, of course. Um, again. again. <laughs> Hello. Uh, uh, we're going to give this a shot after um, not doing any more Steins Gate. We needed something, anything. A light breeze causes the naked branches overhead to rattle like wooden wind chimes. This is a popular retreat for couples in the summer. The dis deciduous trees? Deciduous. Deciduous trees provide a beautiful green cap canopy canopy far out of sight of teachers and fellow students but now in late winter it feels like i'm standing under a pile of kindling i breathe into the cupped hands and rub them together furiously to prevent them from numbing in this cold oh i just noticed my name i'm his how his sow um didn't really i don't, I don't know I guess, I guess i expect him to go hi i'm a sow <laughs> <laughs> No voice uh, acting in this. Yeah. Well, that, that would suck if there was voice acting. Yeah. We wouldn't we'd be just sitting there going, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Just how long am I expected to wait out here anyway? I'm sure the note said 4 o'clock p.m. And yes, the note slipped between the pages of my math book while I wasn't looking. As far as cliches go, I'm more of a fan of the letter in the locker, but at least this way it shows some a bit of initiative. Why are we having this discussion? Uh, not really a discussion. It's, well, he's monologuing and it's explaining the circumstances that came to him being here. Yeah, the first the first episode is going to be a lot of like introduction stuff. So yeah, stick with us, please. As I ponder the meaning of the note, the snowfall gradually thickens. It doesn't look like it's thickening. They should have put that in. Ah, that would have been cool. But for a free game, they're not bad. It should have been like a blizzard out. That would be cool. <laughs> like go, like crazy sideways snow. Yeah. That would have really changed the mood. It made it a lot more tense. Mm-hmm. Let's not, and uh, then I'd have to yell over the sound of the snow and the wind. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> the snowflakes silently falling from the white painted sky are the only sign of time passing in this stagnant world. Their slow descent upon the forest, frozen forest rather, makes it seem like time has slowed to a crawl. The rustling of dry snow underfoot startles me, interrupting the quiet mood. Someone is approaching me from behind. Ah, it's question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey, his sow, you came. I, I am, yeah. I, so I know it's a female because I've played this. <laughs> I watch. I actually watched the first um, episode, part of the first episode, so I know. I know okay. this part. Okay. A hesitating, barely audible question. However, I recognize the owner of that dainty voice in instantly. I feel my heart skip a beat. Oh, not good. It's a voice I've listened to hundreds of times, but never as more than an eavesdropper to a conversation. I turn to face this voice, the voice of my dreams, and my heart begin to raise. Heart begins to raise. I wish this one. I clicked on full screen. This is not full screen. Well, I guess it is full screen, but it's not widescreen. <laughs> Iwanako? Iwanako? Yeah, I have no idea. I, I just ignore the the I whenever I read it because I'm just like, what is that supposed to be? I want to go. Uh, yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> I got a note telling me to wait here. It was yours. Damn it, I spent all afternoon trying to come up with a good line and that was the result. Pathetic. Um, yes, I asked a friend to give you that note. I'm so glad you got it. 
shy, joyous smile that makes me so tense I couldn't move a single muscle even if I tried. Oh, okay, I know what's happening. My heart is pounding now as if it were trying to burst out from my chest and claim this girl for itself. So, uh, here we are, out in the cold. Smooth. I, appreci I appreciate that he's about as awkward as I have ever been. Uh, that's, uh, that's how you are with girls at high school and stuff. Or at least I was. I'm pretty sure I was just as awkward. <laughs> it, it never gets any easier, it seems like. It reminds, <laughs> it reminds me of that... Um, the Simpsons episode where Grandpa Simpson goes up and tries to talk to a lady, and he's he just like, "Well, I I just wanna I uh, Jesus, I think it was get, would get easier with time, <laughs> right?" And he's like in his eighties or something. I thought he was older than that, but yeah. Well, I'm just guess guesstimating. Yeah, I don't think they've ever actually said on that show. No, if they start putting, you know, ages on someone, they're just going to be like, all right, so canonically, Bart Simpson is like 30 now. Yeah. It's probably, yeah, probably about there. <laughs> Once again, the wind stirs up the branches. The cacophonous noise is music to my ears. Cacophonous. Cacophonous? Yeah. I don't know that word. <laughs> I had to. I, I only learned it because of this visual novel. Oh. Okay. Uh, along with deciduous. What does it mean? If I remember correctly. Deciduous means. Uh, oh God! Uh, basically, that it it uh, is a part of the natural landscape. I'm gonna Google it though. Oh, we need to move on. <laughs> oh yeah, well, you can keep reading. Monaco flinches ever so softly against the gust of wind. As it passes, she writes herself as if supported by some new confidence. Her eyes lock Des with mine. Yep. Deciduous. Of a tree or shrub shedding its leaves annually. Okay. Not a word I don't... I, I think it would use a lot. No. And it just means that the, the, it basically means that they're not evergreen trees. And not what? Evergreen, which means that evergreen. they keep their yeah, it keeps their leaves all year round. Oh, Any okay. tree that is not an evergreen is a deciduous tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Her eyes lock with mine, and she lazily twirls her long dark hair around her finger. Uh, what is there a reason why we can't see her face? Yes. She ugly? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? She might be. I don't know. Have you ever... Do you ever get to see her face? I mean, th this is like... Well, I don't want to say... And if you next. want me to give you spoilers, I'll let you know. What's that? I said, if you want me to give you spoilers on um, whether or not we ever see her face, I, I'll, I can tell you, I, but... I suppose we shouldn't. All the while, the anxious beating in my heart grows louder. I, I feel like we did that a few times with Stein's Gate. Yeah. My throat is tight. I doubt I could even force a word out if I tried. You see, uh, uh, that's her. Ah, uh, you, you can do it. <laughs> no. You see. You do a much better girl voice than mine. Thanks. Mine, mine, um, is, mine is like... Uh... I, I don't know. I'm just trying. It's just it's just me trying to make a girl's voice. Just imagine that. I well, I, mine isn't much better, but I got lots of practice because of D and D being the forever DM and having female characters. I have a hard time doing like a faint girl's voice. It's just full on high pitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I imagine I can only imagine it's annoying. I'm sure mine is to an extent too. <clears throat> I wanted to know. 
watching the Game Grumps and Aaron doing a girl's voice. People love the Game Grumps. Yeah, I know. If you'd go out with me. That's difficult to listen to, though. <laughs> I stand there motionless, safe for my pounding heart. I want to say something in reply, but my vocal cords feel like they've been stretched beyond the breaking point. Cassell? I reach up trying to massage my throat, but this only sends spikes of blinding pain across along my arms. The cell. Excuse me, I'm dying here. <laughs> Can you give me a minute? <laughs> my whole body freezes save for my eyes, which shoot and open in terror. The cell. I'm yelling. The beating in my chest suddenly stops and I go weak in the knees. The beating, oh no, this beating stops. The world around me, the canopy of bare branches, the dull winter sky. I want to go running towards me, all these things, all these fade to black. Is she running? Weren't they standing right, like, right next to each other? Uh, pretty close, yeah. Uh, but I, I assume that she probably jumped or sprinted a couple of feet to grab yeah, him from falling. She ran, she ran like two steps. <laughs> yeah. I... Last things I remember before slipping away are the sounds of Wanaka screaming for help and the incessant clatter of branches above. Deep and black. Is it the okay? I have a, I have a much different music playing right now. Um, it probably doesn't fit <laughs> very well. I'd imagine. Oh, look, actual video. Yep. There's not a lot of it, but it does exist here. I cannot uh, tell you how cool I think that uh, the people are who made this, the company. I think it was something like uh, the Greenleaf Studios or something. Um, they did an amazing job on this and uh, they made it for free because they just love doing this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's even more amazing that it's free. It actually, I remember what, from what I remember of it, it was a good story and probably I haven't played a lot of visual novels, but from watching some of them, it seems like one of the better ones. In my opinion, it's uh, it's the best because it. Uh, I, I I have genuinely laughed during this, but I mean, usually I don't take to such serious stories uh, in visual novels. Uh, but this one really grabbed my attention. It's been four months since my heart attack. He's 18 and he had a heart attack. That's it. Yeah. Wow, that's really, I can't imagine. In the, that whole time, I can probably count the times I've left the hospital the room supervised on one hand. Four months is probably a long time when you're left alone with your thoughts. So I've had plenty of time to come to terms with my situation. Read a book. Arrhythmia. Strange word foreign alien one, the one that you don't want to be in the same room with. Rare condition and it causes the heart to act erratically and occasionally beat way too fast. Can be fatal. Apparently I've had it for a long time. They said it was a miracle that I was able to go on so long without anything happening. Is that really a miracle? I guess it's supposed to make me feel better and more appreciative of life. It really didn't do anything to cheer me up. My parents, I think, were hit harder by the news than I was. They practically had two hemorrhages apiece. I'd already a full day by the to by then to digest everything. To them, it was all fresh. They were even willing to sell our house in order to pay for the cure. Of course, there isn't a cure. Because of the late discovery of this condition, I've had to stay at the hospital to recuperate from the treatments. When I was first admitted, it felt like as if I was missing, or if I missed. What is the treatment for a weak heart? Uh, give me a second. Can you look <laughs> it up? Yeah, okay. Um, 
Maybe so there's they, they can uh they can give you beta blockers which is um it, it basically just helps control the abnormal or regular heart rhythm it, it, it makes it so that it slows the heart rate down and decreases your blood pressure so that uh, your heart doesn't just randomly beat out of control okay. or a week. Hmm? or you could technically get a pacemaker implanted but those are the like only two things that i see on the internet after a quick inspection here for about a week my room in the ward was full of flowers balloons and cards but the visitors soon dwindled and all the get well gifts began trickling down to nothing shortly after i realized that the only reason i had gotten so many cards and flowers was because sending me their sympathy had been turned into a class project Maybe some people were genu genuinely concerned, but I doubt it. Even in the beginning, I barely had visitors. By the end of the first month, only my parents came by on a regular basis. Iwanaka was the last to stop visiting. After six weeks, I never saw her again. We never had that much to talk about when she visited anyways. We didn't touch the subject that was between us that snowy day ever again. The hospital? It's not really a place I'd like to live in. Doctors and nurses feel so impersonal and faceless. I guess it's because they're in a hurry and have a million other patients waiting for them, but it makes me feel uncomfortable. For the first month or so, I asked the head cardiologist every time I saw him for a rough estimate of when, when I'd be able to leave. He never answered me anything in a straightforward way, but told me to wait and see if the treatment and surgery has worked. So I idly observed the scar that the surgery had left on my chest slowly change its appearance over time, thinking of it as some kind of omen. I still asked the head cardiologist about leaving, but my expectations are low enough that now that I am not disappointed anymore when I get a reply, the way he shuffles around the answer shows that there is a, at least some hope. Sorry, there's a lot of dialogue. <laughs> there's a lot of explanation going on. At some point, I stopped watching TV. I don't know why. I just did. Maybe it was the wrong kind of escapism for my situation. I started reading. There we go. There was a small library, in quotation marks, at the hospital, though it was more like a storeroom for books. I began working my way through it one small stack at a time. After consuming them, I would go back for more. I found that I liked reading and I think even became a bit ad addicted. I started feeling naked without a book in my hands. But I love the stories. That was what my life was like. The days became increasingly harder to distinguish from each other, differing only by the book I was reading and the weather outside. I felt like a time so I felt like time blurred into some kind of gooey mass, and I was trapped inside instead of moving. Um, <laughs> gooey mass reminds me of something that uh, Aaron on Game Grump said. I know we already talked about the Game Grumps. Oh? He said they were talking about um, what men and women had in common. Okay. And uh, they they mentioned uh, uh, I guess the only word I can think of is tits. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I, uh, and uh, Aaron said that uh, one one was gooier than the other. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> so that's what that's what um. That's what gooey mass makes me think of. The gooey mass makes me think of a, a slime. <laughs> That's probably a much better picture. <laughs> a week could go by without me really noticing it. Sometimes I'd pause in realization that I didn't know what day of the week it was. But other times all the things surrounded me would painfully crash into my consciousness 
through the barrier of nonchalance I had to I had set up for myself. Didn't realize that was all part of the same sentence. The pages of the book would start to feel sharp and burning hot, and the heaviness in my chest would become so hard to bear that I had to put the book aside and just lay down for a while, looking at the ceiling as if I was going to cry. But that happened only rarely, and I couldn't even cry. Serious stuff here. Yeah, I feel like we kind of need to push through the, the high... We do not spend the entire visual novel in the hospital. No. Um, but um, does it get better after you get out of the hospital? I mean, there are down times, but the, the thing right now is that he's so isolated only talking with his doctors that he's barely depressed. Yeah. When he, At least when he gets out of the hospital, he gets to, you know, associate with people and find friends and get hobbies which kind of helps him uh, be a little bit less depressing all the time. I'm sorry if this is depressing anyone. You chose to watch this, it's your fault. <laughs> I'll put a big warning, depressing at the end, at the beginning, I almost said at the end. <laughs> put a big warning at the end. You I tried to put a trigger warning on one of my videos. Mm -hmm. And it was the first trigger warning I had put on one of my videos, and my video got taken down because of the trigger warning. I put a trigger warning on, on the beginning of my video just a couple days ago. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, what comes after? Um, I, I recommend it. It's a, It can be sort of sad at times, but also heartwarming um and i know you have it joe so i recommend playing it all right today the doctor comes in and gives me a smile he seems excited but not very it's like he is trying to make an effort to be happy on my behalf my parents are here it's been a few days since i've last seen them both of them are even sort of dressed up is this supposed to be some kind of special occasion it's not a party there's this ritual the head cardiologist has. He takes his time sorting his papers and then settling them, setting them aside as if to make a point of the pointlessness of what he just did. Then he casually sits down on the edge of the bed next to mine. He looks me in the eyes for a moment. And that's a good place to stop. I, I want to get out of the hospital, but... Um, We're nearing the end of the hospital, if it makes you feel any better. Should I keep going, or...? Uh, no, I'd leave it for next episode. Okay. I uh, want, dearly want to get out of the hospital, but this video went on longer than I thought it would. I thought uh, we might be able to get out of the hospital first, but... Yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer. This is the time when I will say goodbye. Goodbye.